Uh, well, last year we tried the uh, bike share program where we used donated bikes and let students ride them uh, wherever they wanted. Uh, do you remember that? <laughs> and uh, it didn't go as well. People, um, the bikes, I'm going to say they weren't maintained as we'd hoped they would be maintained. Um, so we decided well, maybe a better way to do it would be run what we call a community bike shop. And a community bike shop is a place where you can get your bike fixed for free. Uh, you have to bring in the parts because we don't have any parts. Uh, or it's a place where you can learn how to fix your bike. Or it's a place you can come work on. And if you look in the back, back there, there's bikes hanging up um, that have been donated. And you can work on one of those bikes. And once you spend four or five hours in the shop, you get a bike for free. But that way, people will have uh, some ownership of the bike. and. It'll be there, so right. uh, we will ask if they don't want to take it when they leave campus that they donate it back to the bike shack. But other than that, uh, it's their bike, 100%. And if they're going to use it in their new job in you know New York City and ride their bike, they can get to take it with them. So that was the idea. So the masterminds are uh, myself, uh, Mike Coco, professor of mathematics, and uh, Brian Kane back there chewing the wheel, who's uh, instructor of biology, a lab instructor, and also, what's your other title? Lab coordinator. Lab coordinator. And so you may have had him in environmental science or biology. Uh, all of us have worked on bikes. Uh, both of them have actually worked on bikes for a living. So the main goal is to, is to promote cycling as a, a, a fun way to get around. It's healthier for the planet and healthier for you. Uh, we want to get affordable, reliable bikes to the community. We think a lot of times people don't. see crawling on uh, bikes are expensive, and um, and so if you want, we can help you maintain your expensive bike, or help you build up a less expensive bike that's still very reliable and used on campus. So the goal is to uh, just promote cycling in a fun and yeah, healthy way. Yeah, so the shop right now is open until we see that we need more hours. It's going to be open six hours a week, which will be uh, two hours on Tuesday from 2:30 to 4:30, and then Wednesday and Thursday 2:30 to 4:30. Um, as we need more. Uh, time, um, we'll open it more. Uh, right now, it seems to be a good t a good amount of time. Students seem to be free during this time to be to get involved. Is just come out, and decide you want to work on a bike during those times, and you're there. And if you if you have a bike to donate, that's another way to get involved. Uh, and if you want to hold a, some kind of cycling event on campus, a, a bike rodeo or something like that, you know, email me. Uh, Peterson at lynchburg.edu and we'll uh, set you up. We'll get you started.